we, we've already we've already kind of jumped into this uh, as far as shear has kind of similar stress strain diagrams. Um, so just just to, just to kind of clarify, uh, we had been kind of looking at normal stress strain diagrams. Shear stress strain diagrams are similar. They have similar uh, regions in them as far as the elastic region versus the yielding region versus the strain hardening region. And again, every material is very different. So not all of them will always have every region. Uh, but in general, the, the first linear region is the elastic region. The next region that's usually a little flat would be the yielding. Next region that increases would be the strain hardening. So this one kind of go, kind of goes straight from uh, our uh, elastic region to the strain hardening region, and then to the necking region. Um, you know, some regions are wider than others, um, but um, they behave similarly, especially with the loading and unloading. All right, so let's let's look at shear, and we've mentioned this, but the slope of the shear diagram is not E, it is G, all right? And the E and the G will be different, all right? So you can't just use E. So for shear, the slope is G. We'll call that the shear modulus or shear modulus or modulus of rigidity modulus of rigidity um make sure you know the definitions that's really closely sound sounding to the modulus of resilience don't don't get them confused uh so modulus of rigidity is g <clears throat> all right and that's the slope of the elastic region of the stress strain curve we could we could write that down uh so G is stress over strain. This is Hooke's law for shear. Um, and this is only true in the elastic region. Only true in the elastic region. Outside of the elastic region, if you get a stress higher than the yield shear stress, uh, then you can't use that equation. You have to look at the chart, have to interpolate, have to find those values on the chart. All right, but anyway, uh, G is, is kind of, or, or Poisson's ratio kind of links axial or normal with shear or diameter. Here's an equation. We should know, since you don't have to, you don't have a formula sheet, memorize this one. Okay, G is related to E, all right, so G, the shear modulus is related to E, the elastic modulus. Uh, G is equal to E over two times one plus nu. G is equal to E over two times one plus nu. So what does that mean for these three properties of a material? You only have to know two out of the three, and you can calculate the third. Okay. So, and, and you know, maybe, maybe you're given a, the figure to find G, and if you know nu, then you can find E. All right, so anyway, you have, to, you have to know two out of those three, G, E, and nu, in order to find the third, if you can remember that equation. Not too bad. I'll just one thing, the units are still, units are still the uh, same as stress. You know, because radians are unitless or dimensionless. Uh, so if we're in MPA, units of G, is MPA. And I do give credit, take off points for units on the test, so got to give me units on the test for everything. 